Good afternoon, it's Jeremy here, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the basic shape tools in Illustrator. So the fastest way to create shapes in Illustrator is going to your left toolbars on the left-hand side. If they're not open, you can go to Window, and you can click on Toolbars, and mine is set to Advanced. Once you do that, you wanna go about five icons down to the Rectangle tool. If I left click once on this tool, then it's gonna select the Rectangle tool, and then I can left click and drag with my mouse onto the artboard. I'm just going to flip the color so it's on the fill and then there I have a rectangle. I can color it, I can reshape it, I can move it, all sorts of stuff. But we don't just want the rectangle tool, we want the other tools as well. So in order to get more shapes, all I have to do is go to the icon, right click, and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get access to the rounded rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, polygon tool, star, and also the flare tool. And if I wanna bring this out, all you have to do is go to the right and click this little arrow, and this will bring the shape tools up like this. So now I don't have to right, keep right clicking, but I can go here, select the tool, and start to drag out which one I want. The star tool as well. So in order to keep the proportions of the shapes, because you can see I just got shapes, but what if I want to make sure that it's proportional? What you do is you left click and hold shift, and this will constrain the constraints to the angle in your document. So you can see, I'm gonna make a perfect square every time. If I wanna scale it from the center point, you hold shift, click and drag, and hold option or alt. This will scale it from the center of the square instead of just from the corner, as you can see. There's a difference. So I can scale that up really easily. I'm just gonna delete these. Another trick as well is that if I use the polygon tool or the star tool, you can see how they've got sides of anchor points, right? If I wanna adjust the different sides, what you have to do is as you left click and drag, you can hold shift as well. When you press the up or down arrow keys, it's going to increase the sides if you press up. If you press down, it will decrease the sides. And then I'll have a triangle. And that works for the star tool as well. So I can have the stars if I want like a big star, or maybe the star of David, you know, I can have that. Or if I want less, I press down or up on the keyboard. So the down and up arrow keys will, will increase or decrease. And then in the end, it will just be a triangle. So that's the basics of, you know, using shapes and creating shapes in Illustrator. And also, if you want to edit them, I can just select the corner and I can reshape it the way I want. If I want to delete an anchor point, I can press the white direct selection tool, which is the white mouse button, and I can select a corner and I can move that corner. If I want to make some weird shapes, I can delete anchor points. So maybe I want to delete this anchor point. I can press delete. I can select it, delete and delete there and I can make a triangle, which is really cool. So that's the basics of using the shape tools in Illustrator. I hope you found this useful for those beginners out there. And remember to subscribe and like this video for more content every week. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next tutorial.